안녕하세요 여러분, 토니입니다. Hello everyone, it's Tony. Now evidently I'm not actually at my regular setup and that's why you're seeing it like this. This is literally filming off my phone right now, but um, I just wanted to quickly make a video because Mark Twain from GOT7 has actually just released his music video for One in a Million, which, feat, uh, which also is a collab with Sanjoy, which formerly did a collaboration with Young Jay's uh, for production as well and it just so happens that when i checked out this video this song like two days ago or actually kind of like a day ago um i actually thought sanjo was actually in the video but it's not actually sanjo it's all mark so major props to him and if you want to go check out my reaction to actually the initial song itself it'll be linked in the description box below it's an awesome song it's really really awesome i have it I, since listening to it i've been replaying it constantly and mark super super talented i really love the vibe and i'm super happy that we got a music video and it's a cool little valentine's gift present for everybody so by the way happy valentine's day everybody and today's the third day of lunar year so um with that wishing you guys all the most health prosperity and uh, good luck for that without further ado let's get into this video and i'd highly recommend you check my actual reaction to the um music video because i'm probably gonna do this a little bit faster just because i'm going off my phone but without further ado let's get into it oh i just love I, I just love the vibe, man. I love the vibe, like the kind of like evening vibes. It's so perfect for like right now because it's like nighttime for me. All these people so serene. Yes. Have you seen them? Am I dreaming? I've been searching for my person. So like the one thing I want to say is that this fits perfectly with how I envision the music video just because it feels like almost like what I was thinking in very simplistic kind of like car like you know just driving down the night but this works too just waking up it's it's very much like a love song thinking about a girl so I love the idea that they're kind of like relating that almost connecting it to the idea of just like you're waking up kind of like out of bed type of thing and then when he rolls out it's gonna be it's gonna be really cool I think awesome kind of like animation too it feels a bit western but it's kind of makes a sense because it's a very kind of like just English forward song even with like the musicality of it through the curtains <laughs> but then you walk through the door and my ego So what I want to say is that this music video is kind of, if you hear somebody in the background, I do apologize. There's actually other people with me. Um, <laughs> if you, um, what I wanted to say was that like this music video really, it's, <laughs> oh, one second. Uh, okay. Oh, <laughs> somebody just dropped off chocolate in front of me. That's why. <laughs> Sorry. It's a really scuffed video actually. Um. What I found about the music video is actually that it fits really well with actually the overall setting of like the song itself. It's kind of like the two ships passing in the night, like a kind of, <laughs> um, it's like two ships passing in the night, but like always never crossing each other. That's kind of like the idea that they're doing. It. And it kind of really fits with the vibe because it's kind of like a kind of chill, kind of like mysterious, um, like mystique kind of vibe that the bass gives to the song itself really cool and i like how they did this because it's really different from what i originally thought the music video was going to look like but it still really fits really nice really nice let's keep it on yeah and i know better you keep my head up i feel much yo no lie i swear this doesn't sound like Mark, and that's why I said originally this was Sandra, but it's Mark, so he really be surprising me. He really be surprising me. Better with you when I stand forever, with you when I'm in the better. I miss you when I'm out in LA. Gotta get by through the valley. I went in my in my head, trying to get some breath for my mom. I've been losing down so many. Yeah. 
See, the one thing I really love about this is that it actually captured perfectly what I was feeling. Because if you check my other thought about just the song itself, I felt like it would be kind of the moment when he rolls out of bed. He meets, like the sun is kind of like rising, kind of like the idea of that beat when that kind of like rise, like that brighter vibe. When you kind of like enter into a tunnel, it's like the light is shining. It kind of like that's the bright part. And here we see the sun rising and it's kind of like more of the happy notes. And it's a bit more of the happy tones. And I think that's really how you, it makes you feel near the end of the song. And it really captured perfectly. And I love the idea that, that even you can see the peak of the sun just like popping out because now he's met the girl. Everything, oh, it's so perfect, I think. Feel. Now I'm leaving with you. Tell me, am I dreaming? You gave me a reason to roll out of bed. There's only one out of a million. I just love this song, and I love the ending here the connection. You roll out of bed, but it's like he turns around, he sees her, and then they can come together. I think that it's a much happier vibe than I was actually expecting. It makes this song feel so much more emotional, sentimental, and kind of like almost to a sense relatable. And I love the idea of the animated film so far. It really kind of like gives me that like almost Kimi no Nawa, like your name vibes with how they're meeting, like in fates intertwined. Really cute. Only one. little connection there you have mark and sanjoy just like how it would be actually it's very cute um and now it kind of makes sense as to why the beat is kind of like a bit more ominous and mundane and kind of it's sadder now here because they've been separated and now we're back at nighttime no longer morning morning is like daybreak is kind of like when they meet really cute you know you're the one hey. but then it ends on a happy note which is what i love wow this is really cool it's really fun. I think that this was a really well um, edited video, just generally. It's really fit kind of overall the vibe and everything that I, I thought the song could and would be. Honestly, I think it lived up to the expectations and I think it did so even more because it just generally has the really fun and... Uh, just captures that like kind of chill night vibe tone but then it really brings in that aspect of like the brightness that i think this song has at the end of it and it's really awesome i really enjoyed it so yeah guys um apologies for a little bit of this scuffed kind of video but hopefully you still enjoyed it happy valentine's day and if you want to go check out my thoughts on the original song itself it'll be linked in the description box below and i highly recommend that you check it out if you want a bit more of like my analysis my more of like initial thoughts on it but really overall love this music video loved it so so much and i'm looking super forward to more mark twan so if you want to go check out any of my reactions to more got seven to that extent it'll also be linked in the description box below but with that being said guys thank you so much for watching i'm samanita and and as always, if you want any comments, questions, or something to talk, feel free to leave in the comment section below, and I'll get to you as soon as possible. With that being said, guys, I've been Tony, and you can say goodbye, and I'll see you in the next video. Annyeong! Goodbye!